Hey guys, it's Chelsea, and today we're doing some lamb tacos with an herb-infused goat cheese schmear, a zucchini salsa, and then some nice little roasted beets on top. We're doing all of this with the Blake's Farm Share Package. The Blake's Farm Share Package is a weekly subscription that you can pick up every Tuesday on the farm. So we've got these beautiful beets here, and what we want to do is get them roasted. Just chop off both the top and the bottom. We'll go ahead and get those beets on a sheet pan and coat the beets with olive oil. Roll them around a little bit. Just go ahead and sprinkle a little salt and pepper. Put the beets in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with a kale coleslaw. And just go ahead and finely chop. You'll wanna get roughly a cup of kale. Take your freshly chopped kale, put it in the bowl. Then we're gonna go ahead with the zucchini. I've got this neat little doohickey that will help you cut it into thin strips, but if you don't, you can always just do it with the knife. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half. Get some nice little, what are these, like zoodles? Zucchini strips. So once we've got your zucchini all shredded up, we're gonna take about half a cup and add that in with the kale. We'll go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, to add some acid to our slaw, go ahead and squeeze about half a lemon into your slaw. Mix that up. So next up, we want to do a goat cheese schmear. So we'll take about five ounces of goat cheese and add it into the bowl. We got about a quarter cup of sour cream. I also want to make this schmear like a nice little herby mix here. So I've got some chives from the garden and a little bit of parsley. And mint always goes wonderful with lamb. Grab a couple of mint leaves and add that in there too. Add that into the bowl and then just kind of whip that together. So next up we're gonna start working with our lamb. Lamb can be very intimidating and scary. A well-seasoned lamb makes an excellent meal. You'll be the coolest kid on the block. You're gonna start with salt and pepper on the lamb itself. Salt and pepper both sides. And then what we wanna do is add some mint so easy way to cut mint is just kind of like roll it up and then wrap it in half and just do very fine dicing. Add the mint into the bowl. Also, we'll take a couple of sprigs of thyme. Easy way to get thyme off of the stem is just by grabbing the top and just kind of threading it off. And we're gonna do a little bit of rosemary. Just rough chop the rosemary. All right, rosemary in. And then we're gonna need an acid and an oil. So we'll take that other half of the lemon, add about a quarter cup of olive oil into our marinade. We're gonna do about a tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of onion powder, and a tablespoon of cumin. We're gonna add about three cloves of fresh chopped garlic. We'll give them a quick whack. Peel off the skins. Finely chop. Get the garlic in the bowl. All right, so next we're gonna take our leg of lamb and get it in the marinade and just, you know, show that leg some love. We'll check on our beets and let him sit for about a half an hour. All right, now that we've got our beets all cooled, you'll go ahead and just peel the skins right off. We'd like to use the beets as a chunky salsa. Just dice those up. Once we've got our beets all chopped up, we'll go ahead and set those aside. We wanna go ahead and get the leg of lamb on the grill. So we're gonna heat it up to a medium high heat, and then we're just gonna go ahead and put it on this top rack. We wanna slow roll this bad boy. For the side of our tacos today, we're gonna do a rice peel off. So we've got that going in the rice cooker. We're gonna saute up some asparagus, crisp up a little prosciutto, and then we'll sprinkle a little goat cheese on it. Get our pan heated up on medium high. Get a little olive oil in the pan. Add our asparagus halves to the pan and let them saute up. And what I wanna do is add a little bit of prosciutto um, just to top off that little rice peel off. Prosciutto cooks really quick, so just a couple of seconds on each side. All right, so today we've got these really nice flour tortillas. So we'll just get those in the pan at medium high heat and get those all toasted up. Right, so it's been about an hour, so we'll go ahead and get this bad boy off. We're gonna set them to the side and let it rest about 15 minutes. So next you just wanna cut off all of this netting. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut this into about half inch, quarter inch strips. Now 
Just something really easy to eat for tacos. For the topping on our rice pilaf, we want to do little crispy bits of prosciutto. So let's go ahead and give this a rough chop. And we'll just sprinkle this right on top. So we're going to go ahead and take those warm tortillas and we're going to take that goat cheese herb schmear and just schmear it all around in there. We'll go ahead and pack that kale zucchini slaw in. Mound the lamb in. Get all the taste bits. We'll take our roasted beets and add those to the top. And I've got some salsa verde that I've made previously. And so we'll just go ahead and do a light little dollop of that. Add a little bit of that mint for some flavor. We'll add in some of the rice pilaf on the side. That crispy prosciutto. Then top it off with some of that nicely seared asparagus. Add some goat cheese crumbles. All right, thanks for watching today. And if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can watch all of our other cooking videos.